Yo, what's going on guys? This is Brent again, and in this mini tutorial, we're going to be talking about Angular's ng repeat directive. Um, so we are going to create a controller, page one controller. We've already done that in previous tutorials, and I've created a user's uh, array, okay, of objects, uh, user objects. So each uh, object has a name, an age, and an occupation. So I got three of them here. Now on my um, partial page, I've created a table and each uh, element or each row in that table is going to have print the user's name, the user's age and occupation. In order to use ng repeat, all we do is tag our row with the di angular directive ng repeat. Then we say user, which is what each one of these elements will be in our users uh, array, okay? So if we do that and we save that and go to our um, page here, I've done a little adjusting. Some of you guys that have been watching the tutorials will know that it's a little bit different. I still got a long ways to go to make it pretty. So you'll see that our uh, partial page um, is now outputting three different rows with our user's name, their age, and their occupation in it. So it's pretty much as simple as that. One other thing that we can do is use a filter to order by, and then we're going to do, we can order by age. So let's say that, and I forgot my little uh, single parentheses to end that here. So we'll refresh. And you'll see now that the users are ordered by their age. Uh, so 26, 28, and 29. Um, if we, again, one more time, if we don't uh, use that filter and we reload, they're now Brent Arelli, Nico Arelli, and Nathan Cross. So guys, I hope you learned a little bit in that mini tutorial. I'm gonna start keeping things a little bit quicker. Uh, if you got any questions, comments, or concerns, hit them in the comments below. Uh, if you like my video, go ahead and hit subscribe. I greatly appreciate all y'all support, and I'll catch you guys next time.